Hey guys! So I'm currently sat in my living room about to list a whole bunch of items onto Poshmark and I thought it'd be fun to just kind of bring you guys along for today, show you my process, what I'll be listing, all of that good stuff because boy I have a lot to get up in my closet. I've been kind of hoarding things and like putting them off to the side and I'm like all right this weekend I'll list it, this weekend I'll list it and now I'm like you need to list it <laughs> because I've got a lot of really great items for the fall time and I know people especially parents out there are starting to buy items for their kids for back to school so I've got a lot of really great stuff so I need to just get it up in my closet I think I mentioned recently I have like eight items <laughs> available right now which is just ridiculous and totally unacceptable so it's time to bring that number up so hopefully I get some more people interested making offers and buying things. So that's what I'm focusing on today. Nothing else is gonna get in the way of it. <laughs> I need to get it done. So let me kind of show you guys where I'm at right now. So I've got just my big old pile of stuff that needs to be listed. So I'm gonna go through and clip off all of the price tags from them because quite a few still have the tags on. And then I'm going to separate everything into categories. So I'll have accessories, tops, dresses, pants, skirts, all of that. So that's what I'll do here. And then I have my kind of decor stuff. So I have my fake flowers that I use. I just got this book at the bin, so I thought that'd be kind of cute to throw in there because look how cute that is. And then of course my furry rug that I use all the time for my backdrops. I just think it looks nice. Um, so I'm gonna get started. So I will just kind of show you guys how it goes today. And hopefully we can get through the entire stack. That is the goal, that's what we're doing. all of my skirts together, all of my tops and vests, all of my bottoms, so that's shorts and pants there, and then I've got my accessories ready to go, so let's do this. Nori, are you ready to do some listing? Are you going to be my assistant? Nori! Hello! Cutie. <laughs> so I'll show you guys first, I'm starting with these beautiful Cole Haan loafers. And here's what the pictures look like. So I did kind of the full on shot of them with the little props there in the back and then turned one on its side. Then did a close up of the actual logo inside of the shoes. Showed the back of the shoes because I know I always get questions about that when I post shoes. People want to know what the wear on them is like. And then a close-up of the front because they have these really cool little pink details here. These are actual penny loafers, so that's why it's shaped like that. Oh my god, I die. And I think that's the last one, so I really tried to show kind of every side of the shoe, the condition it's in, and all of that. Alright, so I've managed to take photos of my pants and the couple of accessories that I had. Nori is still helping out. So helpful. Thank you, babe. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is um, look up the stock photos for quite a few of the pants that I have there because I actually have the style number for them so it should be relatively easy to find those images um, just because I like to include those in my Poshmark listings and I need to go ahead and upload those images that I just took on my phone because it'll take up way too much space if I just keep taking photos without offloading them um, so I'll just kind of do it in chunks here so first we will start with these guys. Okay, can we just talk about how awesome it is that Poshmark now allows you to upload more than one image at a time? So I can just select all the ones that have to do with this pair of pants from Banana Republic and I was able to find the model pictures quite easily because they're called the Sloan pants. I just plugged that in with polka dot and got a few images here that were from the original Banana Republic posting. So now I can just hit next here and then they are all ready to go and I can upload them all at once for my listing. So easy, love it. 
All right, so now for pricing those Sloan pants that I just showed you. They're originally $98 from Banana Republic. They do still sell um, the Sloan pant on their website. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and price them at 35. I feel like that's really reasonable. They're in excellent condition. They're very current and cute, and I know someone will love them. And this allows me to have some wiggle room in case someone wants to negotiate. Um, and I can bring down that price point over the next couple of weeks by 10% so that people who like it get that notification and get discounted shipping. Um, so I think I feel comfortable starting it there. So we'll see how it goes. So we'll say next. And we're gonna go ahead and list it. Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. <laughs> so I have to show you guys, it's not always as easy as you might think to find a stock photo. So I have all the information I need here from these um, men's pants. They're the Izod saltwater style chino, and they say that they're in midnight. So I've been doing all kinds of searches for pointer dogs, because that's what's embroidered all over them. Dogs, navy, chino, I mean, I've done every combination. And the only picture that I can get is this very blurry picture from Amazon. So I'm just gonna opt not to have a model picture in this listing. I'm just gonna have my own and hope that they are good enough to lure somebody in to get them, because dang they are cute look at that look at those dogs oh my god somebody needs these Everything has now been photographed, so now it's over here on this side. That was a total workout in um, my abs, <laughs> just going up and down taking pictures, but that's always nice. So now I'm going to go through and do the same thing, see if I can find stock photos for some of these pieces. Um, I already tried kind of looking for a few of them and didn't have any success, but you never know what will pop up. Um, so I'm going to work on that now. Nori is nearby, helping out. You're so cute, I can't even. That was a little up close and personal with her. <laughs> and now she's um, due for her union break, so you just take a load off. <laughs> so I finished listing everything, woohoo! So now I counted and I have 16 new items up in my Poshmark closet, so that's awesome. I do need to keep putting in more inventory, but I've got to be better about not hoarding it and doing it all in one go. I've got to list it as I come across items, so we'll see how that works out. But now I kind of have to put everything away, and uh, my Poshmark closet is a little worse for wear, so it looks like I'll be doing some cleaning and organizing today. My closet 
may not look that different to you guys, but it is a lot more organized. I can find things easier, which makes all of this process so much nicer. So yay, glad I got that checked off the list today too. So I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me as I did some listing, maybe you learned something along the way. You can always feel free to shop my closet at Katie's underscore shop. I'll make sure to leave information about it in the down bar below. And if you have no idea what Poshmark is, I've been saying it this whole video, um, but you just don't know where to start, I'll make sure to leave a link to a video up here and in the down bar all about Poshmark for beginners to get you started. It's an amazing app though, you wanna check it out. <laughs> so I hope you guys had a lot of fun and until next time, 